Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. Hi, today I want to show you how you can create this race of light or God rays. Uh, <clears throat> it's really simple to do. You just need one layer and an adjustment layer and some filters. And as you can see, this is the before here and this is the after. And I have here the original. And what I'm gonna do is I copy that by holding down the Alt key and drag the layer upwards. And then I'm going to Image, Adjustment, and Threshold. And this time I'm working on the pixel image, not on a smart object. And we're working destructive, but it's okay because we have a, a copy of that. So I'm going to lower the threshold until I have something like that. Until the lights are coming through the uh, trees here and then I click OK. Then I'm going to convert this to a smart object. And I'm going with uh, filter, blur, or radial blur. And I'm going with a zoom amount of 100 and quality is best and I drag the, the point where it starts up to the to about this point here where the Sun is coming through and click OK then Photoshop is working a little bit and creates um, radial blur or zoom blur and it takes a moment um, my graphic card is just a replacement right now because my really good one is in repair and because of that the things are going a little bit slower and now I'm setting this layer here to screen like that now you can see you have the rays coming through the trees but it's still a little bit yeah, too harsh the two harsh edges and now it's not so realistic and for this I'm going to add another filter to this layer a blur filter a Gaussian blur filter Gaussian blur and let's go with a small amount of a radius because I want to have the the rays but I don't want this harsh harsh edges and then I click OK and now I have this rays are coming through they're looking realistic uh, but the light is not uh, what I want. I want a yellowish tone here and for that I'm going to add a hue and saturation layer as a clipping mask. For that I'm holding down the Alt key and click on the icon here and I check use previous layer to create clipping mask and click OK. Then I'm going to click on colorize and bring the slider to the yellow and maybe go a little bit with the light lightness here and think that's okay right now and then I'm going back to the layer to our blur layer and I load the opacity just a little bit so that it looks realistic something about 50 to 60 percent in this case okay and that's it that's the before and that's the after thanks for watching bye thank you for watching my videos um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.